the luck. Of the 10 million Brits who smoke, many will have made quitting their number one New Year's resolution. But now, most would have already failed. Actress Linda Robson knows all about the struggle to kick the habit for good. Uh, a smoker since the age of 14, she lost seven members of her family to smoking-related illnesses. Having conquered the cigarette habit, Linda joins us with Dr Chris to offer encouragement if you're trying to do the same. So welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Um, Linda, you grew up really surrounded by smoking, didn't you? I did, yeah. Um, my dad, my mum, all my aunts and uncles. My mum comes from a really big Irish family, eight boys and five girls. Right. And all of them, including my mum, have all had smoke-related illnesses and quite a few of them. Have, have died um, did you lung cancer. I started on a school trip when I was about 13 or 14. We were going away to Bath for a, a week and all of us decided that we wanted to smoke just to make ourselves feel grown up and mm. do something naughty I suppose. Uh, and then smoke for about the next 30 years. I thought when wow. I got back from the school trip I'll stop. Of course you can't. Mm. And were you You're a heavy hot. smoker? Um, probably not at first but just gradually over the years it sort of built up um, and then my mum had three heart attacks related to smoking. So I booked to take her somewhere to be hypnotised, then found out I was pregnant, so I thought, mm. well, I'll have a go as well now. Mm. Um, and I did. Stopped for the next 17 years. I didn't smoke. My mum didn't smoke for a couple of years, um, and then she started again, unfortunately. Um, and then um, I had my child and everything, and I didn't go back to the cigarettes and everything, and that was all OK. And then on my 50th birthday, um, three years ago, I was out with Paul Inquirt, all my sisters, my friends and everything, and we went out to a restaurant, and quite a lot of them got up after the first course, went out and had a cigarette, and I went out for just a bit of a joke, really. Had a cigarette, and the kids were taking pictures of me, because they said, you're rubbish, Mum, you don't even know how to hold it. And they'd it. never and seen you smoke, They'd never really, seen me smoke. Um, and then after the next course, they all went out, I went out again, had another cigarette, and within about a week and a half to two weeks, I'd bought a packet of cigarettes. After 17 years After 17 years, years of nothing. And then just thought, oh, I can smoke socially. Well, of course I couldn't. You know, like, it was like I couldn't get enough down me, where I'd had 17 years with no cigarettes. It was like mm. this new thing that I'd, you know, well, started you had to hide to keep it from the kids, didn't you? Yeah, I used to be, I mean, I used to wrap my hair in towels, perfumes, um, I mean, I had every trick of the trade. Used to eat oranges. oranges, yeah. yeah when I picked my kids up from school, because the orange would be on your hands and it'd take the smell away mm. from your breath. And I mean, I knew every trick. I can't tell you. And gradually, one by one, they all caught me, and they were all absolutely devastated. Especially my daughter Bobby. Mm. She was crying. You're going to die. My daughter Lauren, who'd been trying for a baby, said, "If I get pregnant, if I have a baby, you are not looking after the baby while you're smoking." They'd all been such anti-smoking. You know, my dad died 57 of lung cancer. Well, yeah. your dad is. Uh, it, it's funny, isn't it? Because these things don't put you off, or well, no matter how traumatic it is. No. Um, and you say that with your dad, it was uh, Bobby, your dad. Yeah, that's it? right. Um, yeah. He. His cough entered the room before he did. Oh, God, he used to cough non-stop. And he used to light one cigarette up off the other cigarette. He never really used a lighter or matches. He'd just light one up and then the other one. And you'd know he was coming because you could hear his cough coming yeah. down the corridor or, you know, knocking on the door outside. You could hear him coughing out in the street mm. or whatever. I mean, he used to smoke the um, senior service and players and all those non-tip yeah. cigarettes and everything. And my mum. And then gradually they went down to Silk Cut <laughs> and the Marlborough Lights and all of that. But still, you know, like, and it's one of those things that... Well, once very unpleasant end as yeah. well. Yeah, um, I mean he was diagnosed point, uh, with lung cancer and he died within a week and a half and oh I'd just goodness. given birth to Bobby which is, so you know, one minute you're all excited you've just had a baby, a week and a half later <coughs> mm. I was sitting in the room watching him die from, you know, lung cancer. So so this second time round, so you've gone now back to the smoking after your 50th birthday, you've been caught out, you try and keep it a secret, what did you do the next time? Well then um, a television company came to me and asked would I like to be one, they were doing a, a programme called Celebrity Quitter so they asked five celebrities and the kids saw the email come through and they said mum you've got to try you've got now to you've it. got to do it and um, and I did and from that moment I've never touched a cigarette since but I am still on nicotine replacement mm. right so they're quite so are you tempted no I haven't been tempted to have a cigarette as long as I've got the nicotine replacement if I'm running low then I have to go at 11 o'clock at night I went to Euston station one night because I thought if I haven't got the replacement there I might be tempted to have a cigarette it's just like your little really? blanket or whatever your little thing and, and it's been fantastic it really really has so even though my sisters are still smoking I go out with them, they have a cigarette, and I have a sniff of my, you know, nicotine replacement. And uh, and having, uh, because just before Christmas, you you lost an uncle, didn't yeah, you? Yes, my uncle Joseph died of lung cancer. Same um, thing again, you know, like he'd smoked all his life, and he'd had a terrible cough. So this has taken a massive toll in your it family. It really, really has, honestly, it really, really has. And but your sisters still smoke? Both my sisters still smoke, I know, and it's like, it's, it's they've got this smoking logic, you know, like, it's like, oh, they're not yet, they're not ready yet. Not but you, Yeah. But when they say that you've given up with the help of something. I mean, if you can do it having...
been a heavy smoker. I know, yourself, yeah. And I did they? go back to 40 a day when I started smoking again. It was did like, you? honestly, yeah. And I had the most terrible cough. I'd get up early in the morning, go out on the balcony, have a cigarette, and then I'd start coughing. And they'd be shouting down, Are you smoking down there? No, no, and spraying perfume and get me oranges out. And yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. So if they smell oranges around you, I know, now, they now, get really I can't have an orange without them thinking I've had a cigarette. We took your, uh, you did the lung test, didn't you, uh, early on? Yeah. Uh, how, how did that feel when you did that? Have you done it before? All right, yeah, I did it before. And, they, and the, the program gave the kids one of those little smoking things so they could check at any time. I'd never yeah. know if they were going to check to see if I'd been smoking because it comes up and shows. Do we have the results, Chris? We're, we're just about to do it now. Now, well, well we, we can do. Uh, I mean, I, I blew into it earlier, and I, I'm a non-smoker, yeah. and, and my reading was um, was three. And in fact, the, I don't think we can that, it's reading, it's usually one or two for background level of carbon monoxide, yeah. okay? So take a deep breath in okay. and hold it, right? Breathe in, hold it, one, two, three, four, five. Now blow as hard as you can. <laughs> Keep going, 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 keep going. Okay, that's fine, good. No. Well done. <laughs> um, How's that? Three, four. Oh, so that's going up five. to No, no, it's five. okay. That's nope. not, yeah, so that's, that's okay. So what would be, what would be, what? A, a smoker. Uh, could be 40, 50, 60 oh, right. parts per million. Yeah. So if well you are, you. if you are <laughs> on them, stuck on them, how do you get off? What have you got? Well, look, we've got a huge selection here of all the nicotine products. Linda's using a nicotine nasal spray, and I'm glad she is because th this is grossly underused. It gives you, you know, a hit of nicotine. It does, yeah. Uh, when you first start using it, it can be irritant and it puts some people off, but that's really effective. Now, I've run smokers clinics for 30 years and the patients in my clinics, they would all have a patch yeah. and they'd be using another nicotine treatment. So, so the patches right. and the gums and the things like that we know about, don't we? We've yes. seen those. Uh, right, but yeah. what, about, what about these electronic yeah, cigarettes? No, no, these are electronic cigarettes. Now, now I, I, I don't smoke and Linda's tried one, so well, let's, nice. let's, let's both try. <laughs> it's very nice. So what does this do? Give you the same hit as one spray? And that's just water and vapor. Yeah. And, uh, so How it, does it, it, that work? It, 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 I, I wish I'd thought of this. What a brilliant <laughs> idea. And but that's completely it, harmless. Yeah, but... yeah. It contains nicotine, but nicotine at the dose taken is harmless. It's the other 4,000 chemicals in tobacco that's dangerous. Right. Mm. Okay. And with, with these, you're satisfying the hand to mouth because 20 a day, you're doing this 200 times a day, yeah. hand to mouth activity. So there's the habit. It's associated with on the phone, with a drink after a meal, etc. Mm -hmm. And then you've got 200 shots of nicotine a day yeah. if you're on 20 fags. So with this, it's pure nicotine. That's just water vapour. It's funny, actually, because there are still people who get pretty shirty if you, if you use well, I've seen someone get told off for using it uh, in a restaurant. Well, there's certain aeroplanes you're not allowed to use. Yeah, well. even, though, even though it's now, not no smoking and cigarettes. it's harmless. Yeah. yeah, they do say no electronic cigarettes yeah. as well. Uh, some of the airlines ban them. E-cigarettes, yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there are various brands, and uh, I, I must state that um, uh, quite a few of them have come from, come from China mm. and the quality is very suspect. Well, what we'll do, Chris, is we'll put uh, we'll put all of these products and those and the ones that you recommend on our on our website. And mm. uh, and thank you very much indeed. Thank and, you. And good luck. Thank, um, you. thank you. Now that's it. Now. Well, for help and advice on anything we've discussed, please see our website, itv.com/thismorning. Right, still to come.